Keegan, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about how to get ready faster, how not to be late, how to just, yeah, 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 that kind of stuff. I just drank all of this and I'm hyper. <laughs> I've been late, you've been late, we've all been late and I hate being late. For the first quarter and a half of school, this year I used to leave 50 minutes early, like five, is, is this, I don't know. I don't know which way the camera's gonna pick it up at. Being late sucks in my opinion, and this video is basically for you. Let's say you forget to turn on your alarm or you hit snooze too many times, or I don't even know, just like you're late, or like you think you're going to be late and you, you just, but I'm using the word late a lot. What, what is a synonym for late? I don't like here actually. You're just rushing to get out of the door. These are tips that will help you get ready faster. So even if you're not late, they're just gonna help you move your getting ready time process sooner so you can sleep in longer, or you can have, you can have some extra time for yourself in the morning. These are tips that I have found work a little bit. <laughs> These are tips that I have found work really well for me. So I hope that you guys enjoy and let's get started. The first tip is my least favorite, and it's the most unrealistic one. Actually, it is to set your alarm to make sure you have time for five minutes to just chill or do whatever you need before you leave. That time you can like eat breakfast or do whatever you need. It just kind of gives you a window of opportunity. If you sleep in a little bit later, you still won't be late, and you don't have to stress as much in the morning. Next one is to test out your travel time. If you're going somewhere new for the first time or just something like that, kind of drive there, see how long it normally will take you and then you can like plan that into your, like see how long you need to wake up, how long it'll take you to get ready, you know what time to set your alarm at. What am I doing? So let's say you woke up really late and you're like, I, I don't have time to do anything. Skip the shower, which is like disgusting and you're like, ew, showering. If you don't shower, you're disgusting and like, hmm. Okay, we have perfume, deodorant, and dry shampoo. Those are the things that will help you fake a shower. I hate not showering, so I shower at nighttime. I love showering at nighttime because I feel like I'm going to bed clean, but I also don't have to wake up super early to take a shower and I'm not like wet and gross or actually you're not gross. You're kind of clean, but you don't have to like wait for your hair to dry and you don't need a, dry, a blow dry. And I can't talk today. I can't talk any day if I <laughs> but if you do take showers in the morning and you wake up too late, I would just suggest skipping the shower because that kind of takes up a bulk of your time and it's gross, but you can fake a shower. You can fake it. Fake it till you make it. As for the makeup, makeup takes up a lot of time as well. My first tip would be to skip the foundation. What I like to do is just focus on problem areas and spot conceal and stuff like that. But I'm not gonna lie, I have times where I'm like, my whole face is a problem area. I need to cover my whole face. So that's why I would use a full coverage foundation so you don't need to spot conceal or do anything more. Use a full coverage foundation foundation just covers everything all at once. Also, if you're spot concealing or using a full coverage foundation and there's still some like stuff that's showing that you don't want to, use a powder foundation. It'll give you a lot more coverage and still mattify you as well. By the way, I know not everyone has all these like makeup items, but if you do, it's a really good thing to grab toward. Or if you're looking for things that you need to buy, these could help you get ready faster in the morning. So if you have them, great. If you don't, awesome as well. You can figure something else out. <laughs> Instead of using bronzer and blush, I would use a bronzer blush, which if you're like, what's that? It's kind of a mob dark dark blush that could pass for a bronzer and a blush together. My favorites are Amaretto from Becca, and then my other one is Dallas from Benefit. They are so pretty, and you can wear them as a bronzer and a blush, like two in one all together, and it just saves you time, because you don't need to do two separate things. Skip the highlight. It's, I, I know we want to like glow and be little glazed donuts, but sometimes you just gotta skip it. Or like maybe just a little bit if you have time. You can just pop that on really quickly on those cheekbones, just like really quickly though. My next one is not to use a beauty blender. Dampening the beauty blenders take so long. They, it, it's really annoying. And then beauty blenders also take quite a while to blend out. I recommend using a foundation brush. This is my favorite. It is the Morphe 350. It is just, it's amazing. I love it and it saves me so much time. Morphe's not sponsoring this. No one's sponsoring this. This is a me sponsoring myself video. That, that actually doesn't work. Just use a brush because it saves you a lot of time and you don't have to dampen the beauty blender. Get rid of the beauty blender. I actually didn't mean to throw that, not gonna lie. Next tip is to use big brushes. They save you so much time. So I have a huge fan brush that I use for my bronzer when I'm rushing instead of like a teeny tiny contour brush. Since they're huge, they take up a really good surface of your skin so it gets everything all at once and you don't have to like focus on little areas. For your eyebrows, instead of filling them in with a pencil or a pomade or a powder, use tinted eyebrow gel. So you just go swoop, swoop, and you good. And you can also focus it more on sparse spots if you're like, my swoop, swoop didn't really work out. Just go swoop, 
oops, 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 oops. Good. For your eyelashes, if you have eyelash extensions, you are so lucky because you don't need eyelash mascara. That's what they're called. Okay. So one thing that takes up some time too, that's just like unnecessary, is curling your eyelashes. So instead, you can use a curling mascara or a lengthening mascara. My two favorites are Roller Lash and They're Real by Benefit. They're super great. They curl your eyelashes, they lengthen them, and you don't need to curl your eyelashes with an eyelash curler. You can just save time. And then I'd recommend skipping the lipstick. It just takes time. But if you're like, I feel like I need it. I don't feel like myself. Use a really forgiving lipstick or a lip balm. I used a super light color. If I messed up, it's fine. It's whatever. I don't have to spend a ton of time on it like you would for a red lipstick or a dark lipstick or like something like that. As for the hair, I took a shower last night and this is my natural hair. I know it's like stick straight and some people are super jealous and some people are like, ew. I will just leave it natural if I wake up late in the morning and I'm just fine with it. If my hair is dirty and I didn't shower last night, I will just use dry shampoo and I hate my hair. The feeling of it when I dry shampoo, I refuse to have it just like down when my hair has dry shampoo and I think it's just gross. I just don't like the feeling of it. I did like two hairstyle videos, maybe three. I will have those linked somewhere if I can remember. They have super quick hairstyles in those videos that you guys can do, but my two top ones I like to do are a ponytail or just a braid. I can honestly braid my hair faster than I could put it in a ponytail. Like if I was homeless, I would have one of those signs that was like, I will braid your hair for money, huh? And actually that would be really weird because no one wants a homeless person touching their hair. So I don't think I would make any money that way. As for your outfit, you can obviously pick out your outfit the night before, which will save you a ton of time. I'm not like that. I can't do that. I just hate picking my outfit out the night before. I think it, I don't like it. I don't know why. But one thing that really helps is do you have an idea of what you want to wear? You don't have to like try on everything, pick out the physical clothes, but you can have an idea of what you want to wear. Or at least like a shirt or a pair of jeans. One thing to kind of base your outfit around. The biggest tip that I have for picking out an outfit when you're late is to have an organized closet. I am an organization freak. My closet is color coded and it's also organized by like length of the sleeve and like how short the top is and like I'm super organized I'm that weird person I want to like organize like China like I don't know why I just said China but like I just said China I don't know that's a really weird thing to say but having an organized closet really helps because I know exactly where every single thing in my closet is just because it's by color and obviously like if it's not organized by color you can just see it but I'm a very visual person so if I can see everything it's just yay another thing is to have staple pieces so a black shirt pair of jeans stuff like that that is super simple that you don't actually have to think about matching you can just like throw on and you're like black shirt and jeans there we go and if you have extra time you can just like throw a cardigan on or a jacket or something like that staple outfits for me for the winter would be a shirt and jeans a sweater and leggings if it's not freezing cold and you don't get frostbite from like showing your ankles you can wear a dress because I mean I obviously know so much about frostbite I live in Arizona 70 degrees burn but you can wear a dress and then people ask you because like you're in high school and they're like who are you dressing up for and you can be like oh I didn't have time to put on pants rompers are also really great because you don't have to think about like matching your pants this one I feel like is kind of obvious but when you're walking around from point A to point B like from your bed to your bathroom to like you better fast walk you better run not run but like fast walk this is me fast walking <laughs> This one's really weird, but I just, I like it. It's to learn how to brush your teeth and multitask, because you obviously need to brush your teeth. So what I've learned to do is I can brush my teeth and like put deodorant on or spray perfume. Or let's say you worked out in the morning, which is something I don't do, and you slept through that. And you do like your squats while you brush your teeth. I wouldn't recommend like jumping jacks, because you might like stab yourself in the throat with your toothbrush. That sounds really painful. And then whether it's your backpack or a purse or just something that you need, keys or something, have them set out the night before, so before you go to bed, just make sure everything. What is that? <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that with my hand, but just have everything set out from the night before so you're just not like struggling putting everything in there. And then you forget something. Breakfast, grab a granola bar and go, go, go. I feel like I'm stressing you out, but like you're probably not even late right now. You're probably just like sitting in your bed like watching this while eating like food. Cause that's what I always do. <laughs> now driving, do not speed. I swear I will not speed. Promise me that you will only go nine above the speed limit, but in a school zone, we will go the speed limit. Cause we do not want to double fine. Also, if you speed being pulled over, that's gonna take up some time. So just don't, don't speed too much. Go with the flow of traffic. And the last one, if you have to drive on the freeway or something to get somewhere, use the traffic app. There's GPS apps or traffic apps that tell you little back ways to get somewhere so you don't have to, you don't have to be sitting on the freeway. Because honestly, sometimes the freeway takes longer than surface streets because traffic and rush hour and <laughs> Not that I know, my parents don't let me drive on the freeway. So those are all my tips to getting ready faster. Hope that you guys enjoyed them. If you have any, please leave them down below so we can help each other out. I love you guys so, so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.